Welcome to our workout. Today we're going to be in sitting, just doing a lot of general exercise motions. I'm probably not going to speak a lot, so play music louder than I speak if it turns out I'm quiet. Um, I had to take a rescue inhaler and I'm a little hoarse and blah, blah, blah. My excuses are starting already, but I want to get some kind of a workout in. So let's go. I feel like I should put the music up louder. Uh, then you can hear that instead of me. So sit up nice and tall, that's our main goal. Uh, belly into spine. Let's lift our muscles, our pelvic floor muscles to bring everything that should be inside us, inside us. Let's get your chest open. Think about this spot up to the sky. Shoulders away from your ears. And then if you could kind of twist them around and make them not rounded, that would be nice. Slide your chin all the way back so your ears are over your shoulders. That's about the cues I'm going to give today. So let's get started. Let's start with punch, 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 punch. So tuck your chin a little. Do a little chin dip. We're just doing a gentle warm up. Keep your elbows bent. Woo. Let's change. We're going to go uh, arm up to one corner, opposite leg out. Kind of making diagonals. Ready? Let's go. Four, three, two, one. As you're reaching, try to hold your shoulder blades together in the back. I'm just going straight to the side with my legs. Keep your chin tucked. Keep this going for a while, yeah? Let's change again in four, three, two, one. Let's go back to boxing. Actually, let's get the beat going a little, huh? I'm stopping my elbow uh, be below my shoulder and I want to rock it out a little. I'm really enjoying the song. So watch your posture though. See if you could do weight one behind cheek and get a little bit more of a curve going in your spine or in your sides. Sit up nice and tall though. Let's change it in. Four, three, two, one. Let's go side to side again. Soon we'll add a totally different move. Let's change it in four, three, two, one. Let's go up and down. So I got my heels going up and down as my arms. I'm thinking of it, <laughs> my version of a jumping jack. Remember when you were little in school and you didn't really feel like doing the PE, so you just kind of waved your arms. As we're doing this though, our heart rate's kind of going up and down, right? My watch though is declaring that I am pool swimming already, so. Maybe you're hopping in the pool with me, huh? Let's go back to punching in four, three, two, one. 
We're gonna do soon a punch, punch, duck, or punch, punch, weave, punch, punch, weave. So let's set ourselves out by having our legs far enough apart that's comfortable, but maybe you're getting a stretch a little in the inner thigh. Point your knees toward the ceiling or actually aim them a little bit behind you. Hinge at your hips and come forward a little. Go your speed for the punches. We are at five, and a, five minutes. My clock is saying five and a half, but I think by the time I got to my chair, it was 30 seconds. Okay, ready? Let's get a little bit different. Let's go punch, punch, duck. Punch, punch, duck. Punch, punch, duck. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to bash my head on my counter. Then I'm not going to be laughing, huh? Okay, we need a change. I'm so confused. Let's go back to punching for a second. Let's regroup. Sit up nice and tall. Don't sit back on your tailbone. Come to the front of your chair. Let's just spin it out for a second. Go one side and then the other side. Woo, I feel my chair really getting creaky. Maybe I should get my family to glue it tonight and it'll dry by tomorrow. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Be my girl. Ready? Let's change it in four, three, two, and one. Bring your legs back together. Sit up nice and tall, arm down, diagonal. I'm taking a lean back a little and I'm whooshing it up in an arc and then back the other direction. Whoosh, back in the other direction. As I'm swooshing forward, I'm trying to extend my spine, elongate it, and then come back. Keep your chin tucked in though, I challenge you. Don't let your chin rise to the ceiling. Um, a lot of people automatically do that, especially with the bifocals, trifocals, my progressives, but that's how a lot of people get headaches too. Whoosh, whoosh. Can you imagine doing that? How is it going? Good? Let's change soon. I'm just uh, trying to get us to move some without starting a coughing, gagging fit, and then, you, then that's all you'll remember. You won't remember that you exercised or ate. I know some people are eating, watching my videos, but that's fine. There is a TV show on, uh, not currently, but generally, where they lose a lot of weight and we get to watch them through 12, 13 weeks. They lose a lot of weight. Um, that's when I eat. I, I always eat during that show. I hope none of the trainers come after me. Okay, ready to change? I am. Let's change it in four, three, two, one. Sit up nice and tall again. Let's take our elbow, bring it toward the other knee and back up. Use, not your arm doing it, but use your stomach muscles. If you feel more, actually that might be better. If you're able to cross, cross your leg, and then as your elbow's heading down, bring your knee up too. Then we're working some of the hip rotators that seldom get worked. This is a good one. I'm feeling across my stomach, mainly the side where, of where my elbow is. 
But then if my legs falling up, my, my legs falling off the other leg. I could feel the inside thigh muscles on the other leg. Set up tall. We don't want it cramping your back. Um, the hip patients obviously you know better to, than doing this. The new hips until your doctors released you. Let's change it in four, three, two, one. Other side. Oh, 10 minutes, you guys. Other arm. Let's go to the knee. We started it, I know, admittedly, without the leg up on the other leg. So if you need to take some and even yourself out by not putting your leg up for a while, that's fine. Let's knock these out, yeah? Are we getting close? I think so. Let's go four, three, two, one. Sit up nice and tall, scarecrow out your arms, and let's go side to side. You have the ability to try to go straight, straight, or you could try to do crunches with your side bodies. You have the ability, obviously, to go at feet or completely ignore it like I kind of am doing. If it's too much for your arms up, then just hold them down. I kind of think I like it because, well, for one, I look kind of silly. And then I like that it gives me a point of reference. How are you doing? Good. Let's change them in four, three, two, one. Bring your legs far apart. Grab that giant ball off the ground. Lift it up. Set your shoulders. Lean back. Tuck your chin. And then think about smashing it on the ground. So we have a lot of components going on. We're lifting, picking, using our shoulder blades to pull back, shoulders away from ears. Lifting, 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 really setting your shoulder blades. Tuck your chin and then back. Tighten your stomach more so you're not arching your back. And then slam it down. If you want to do a pretend throw the ball at your screen back at me, I'd prefer that because then it's fun for both of us. Remember, it has to be pretend though. I don't want you to break anything. Let's change in four, three, two, one. Come on back now. Sit farther enough back in your chair. Keep your back though away from the back of the chair. I don't want you sitting on your tailbone. So if you need to put your hands behind you to keep a straight back or even a little bit of an arch forward, that's fine. And kick. Kick at your own pace, shoulders away from ears, down your back. I'm thinking of if you were in that, remember being in swings when you couldn't reach the ground and you just kicked. Or those swings at the carnivals and your, your legs are just suspended. That's the feeling I want. I want a little bit of motion. The kneecap muscle, the one that controls it the correct way, is the last bit of straightening your knee and that's it. Of course, it's cutting in my thighs, so now I'm putting my hands under my thighs so the chair isn't cutting through. But it seems like it's relaxed out my the front of my hip muscles too. I'm gonna see if I could swing it to you. Here we go, go as fast as you can if you wanna play with me. Oh, my chair's starting to wiggle. It's gonna move to you. Sit up taller than me. 
We got this. Let's see if we can hold out to the end of the song. I'm hoping the song's almost done. What do you think? Let's go fast, 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 fast. We're going to be done soon with our workout entirely. We'll stretch it out shortly. I don't think it's going to be done. Shall we go back to doing something else? Say yes. Let's change it in four, three, two, one. Oh. Let's fix your legs. Pretend I never had such a stupid idea before. Belly into spine. Let's go back to punching or elbows, throwing, whatever you want to do. I'm glad we changed it. One of the first things you learn when you're a personal trainer, as a physical therapist, we don't care if there's music on or not, but as a personal trainer, group exercise leader, uh, that I also, the certificates I also hold, you're supposed to review your music. And fortunately, I never review it because I don't like, uh, I just like impromptu workouts with you. If I started to have to plan them out, then it's drudgery probably. Or I'll just talk myself out of a workout. <laughs> Jesse's Girl. That was the first concert I went to. I saw the real guy. The real guy seeing Jesse's Girl. Let's change in four, three, two, one. Let's go backwards. Let's swim. Sit up nice and tall. You can rotate your trunk or just keep it straight forward. I'm keeping my elbows bent a little for one. Uh, I don't want to smack my countertop. That's probably the main thing, so not for one. That's the main thing. I have that fear of countertops. There it is. Record pool swim again. Can't have too many recordings. Let's change it soon. You know what I realized? I have a clock running. I should have checked seconds as we go along to make sure we even things out. I'll put that on my list. Let's change in four, three, two, one. Let's keep our arms down. And let's just go for a gentle bob again. Rest your legs, rest your arms. We don't have to rest our stomach muscles though. Okay, ready to move on? I think I am. Let's change in four, three, two, one. Take one leg out to the side, knee pointed up at the ceiling, sit up nice and tall though. And then slide it, I'm sliding up, I lifted my leg because my phone's in the way. Slide it forward, back in, out to the side. So we're coming back straight, turn so your knee's out to the side, rotate around trying to keep your knee out to the side and back in. Sitting up tall, however. Let's change to the other leg in four, three, two, one. I don't know why I always think of this because I never have room in here. Straight forward. Knee now is going up to the ceiling. I'm changing, moving my chair over and then back in. Forward out to the side and then back in. Oh, this is the, I'm putting my hand underneath my leg only because this is the splinter side of my chair that I stole from my brother. He owed me, I'm sure, for something. He probably threw it at me and I locked it up. And then he couldn't get, I probably licked it. I bet you that's what I did. I bet you I licked the chair so he never wanted it back. We used to lick a lot of things, so nobody else would want them. Did you do that with your siblings? Feel free someday to like write in and tell me about the, like make this a full conversation. You guys are learning too much about me. Okay, we're past 19 minutes. That's awesome. Let's change in four, three, two, and one. Let's put legs, no, let's put our legs sideways right now. Come to the front of the chair a little. 
lean back into the chair, bring your leg forward to the front, and then we're gonna go up and down. Belly into spine. Why am I doing this? In my head, it was a great move. Hmm. Let's not do this. Let's lean back and bring our leg up. Oh, that's what was in my, don't do, don't do that. Keep your, keep your toe on the ground. Rotate your heel. And then that's it. We're, I'm trying to do clamshells. Don't do what I did. I'm sorry if you followed. So I'm keeping my foot on the ground. I'm rotating my knee closer to the other one and then open. And I'm trying to get it against gravity. Oh, tomorrow when I wake tomorrow when I feel like I was shot in my behind. <laughs> I'm gonna remember this workout. What's my watch saying? Go figure. Let's change it in. Four, three, two, one. Let's go to the other side. Let's not kink up the riding on the start of it. Okay, so we've got the front leg. We're relaxing back onto our chair. We're sitting at the front. Our knees bent, belly into spine, sitting tall, knees aiming toward the other one, and then opening up. So our goal is to try to feel it right in here. We're going to even this out, and then hopefully we're going to be able to do the bottom leg up toward that one to work on our inner thighs. You have to sing the song, right? Okay, let's stop in four, three, two, one. Would it work now if we point our knee, the top knee toward each other, and let's take our bottom leg, we're still leaning back, let's take that knee now out from out to the side, up, oh, no. Yeah, play with it a little bit. You don't wanna feel like you're uh, grinding into your groin muscles. But I think we could try to get a little bit of action. If you don't do it well, so my foot isn't, my heel isn't on the ground based on my chair. We're not going to stay with this one long. I'm not fond of it. Let's change in four, three, two, one. Back down. Let's go the other side and finish this. Oh, that was good though. Okay. So we're sitting forward, or we're at the front of the chair. We're leaning back. We've already done the first leg, right? The closest leg. So now take your back leg, bring, find a spot though. Keep your heel off the ground if it's a chair that's like mine and bring your knee up toward the other one and then allow it to flop back. When I say flop, I mean control. Oh, that was, ow. We're gonna stretch right after this. Let's change it in. Four, three, two, one. Oh, sit up nice and tall. Bring your legs out. Let's just grab our, our thigh chunk. <laughs> Slide it out and hold it. Belly and the spine. I'm at the front of my chair on purpose. I'm trying to lean down, hinging at the hip, just to allow a little bit of stretch. If you can bring your legs out wider. Hopefully you have a sturdy chair that doesn't move on you. Hopefully, so let's be safe. You could do it this way or you could do it this way, but for me to be effective, I have to open my thighs and keep them out there because I'm not a flexible person. My toes are in one direction. My knees are facing my toes, going the same direction. Now let's drop down toward one side of the chair, one leg. So we're kind of over here. I'm gonna come in front though so you see what's going on. So the goal is to get your knee under your hip, your hip under your shoulder, your ears over your shoulders, tuck your chin, push it back. Hips and shoulders facing one way, belly into spine,
fine. So you feel that stretch right here. If you're not feeling it, keep your foot planted and you could slide your whole underside, your whole behind forward. Some people with noodle legs can also lift their leg. I can't, I'm not in a strong enough chair plus I don't have noodle legs. These songs are really long. Just enjoy the stretch for a minute. Good, slowly come out of it. Drop to the other side. I'm turning this way so you could see. Let's line ourselves up again well. Knee is under hip, hip is under shoulder, ears are over shoulders, belly into spine. I want you to feel it right in the front of your thigh. Oh, there's a logo marking, huh? Maybe you have no logo now? Okay. So if you're not feeling it, tighten up your stomach more, or you can slide yourself forward, or if you have the noodle legs, you can lift your foot off the ground. I don't need the Charlie horse. Let's hold it, and then we're going to take a breath or two, and then do a sign-off with a congratulations for us. I feel really proud of us. Good. Slowly come on back up. Sit up nice and tall, away from the back of the chair, belly into spine. Uh, elevators lifted, chin is tucked nicely back, inhale, lift your arms, and exhale, inhale, lift one, lean on over, again, belly into spine, elevator lifted, pull the upper shoulder open a little, and then come on back down, we're going to repeat on the other side with an inhale, and an exhale. Open your shoulder. Good, and come on back down. Inhale, lift your arms. And exhale. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale as you bring your hands to heart center, palms pressing into each other. Back of thumbs into your chest bone, broadening out your chest. Take a second, a moment, a minute, whatever you want, to thank yourself. Be proud of yourself for getting to exercising every day, every couple days, whatever. Um, I really appreciate you. I appreciate your comments, your recommendations, your feedback. You're helping me grow as a therapist, being able to explain hopefully things better. You're helping to grow my mind and you're keeping me sane. So I appreciate you. From my open heart to yours, namaste.